A virtual cloud network, or VCN, is a virtual private network that you set up in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. It closely resembles a traditional network with firewall rules and specific types of communication gateways and network service components. But what if you need to add a site-to-site -site VPN connection from an existing virtual cloud network to an on-premises network? In this video, we will cover a quick start method via the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Web Console called the Site-to-Site -Site VPN Wizard. It is the quickest way to set up a site-to-site -site VPN between your on-premises network and your virtual cloud network. The Site-to-Site -Site VPN Wizard does require an existing virtual cloud network, so if you haven't created a VCN yet, check out one of these videos or expand the video description for links to documentation on creating a virtual cloud network. The Site-to-Site -Site VPN Wizard involves setting up and configuring several network service components. The wizard creates these components for you or modifies existing network service components as part of the wizard process. This networking diagram represents the virtual cloud network that we will be adding networking service components to by running the VPN wizard. The VPN wizard will add a customer premise equipment or CPE, IPsec tunnels, dynamic routing gateway or DRG, internet gateway, and will modify existing routing tables and security lists. Once the VPN wizard is completed, its process, our virtual cloud network, will look like this diagram. This video will cover the steps needed to run the VPN wizard and review network service components via the web console. The steps that the video will cover are getting needed configuration information from the on-premises network, reviewing the existing virtual cloud network, completing the VPN wizard steps, reviewing the new virtual cloud network resources, and identifying training materials for configuring different customer premise equipment types. First, let's collect needed configuration information from the on-premises network. You will need CPE devices, public IP address, CPE vendor, model, and version, CPE IKE identifiers, on-premises network routes, and if you use BGP dynamic routing, a few specific IP addresses. This Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Site-to-Site -Site VPN Quick Start Wizard checklist is available to make collecting configuration information easier. Next, let's review the existing Virtual Cloud Network for this demonstration. On the Virtual Cloud Networks page, underneath Networking in the Web Console, we select the VCN. On the next screen is the Virtual Cloud Network information and associated network service components. From our initial diagram, we notice the VCN, subnets, routing tables, security lists, and CIDR blocks. Now that we have a VCN, we can begin the Site-to-Site -Site VPN wizard. We will begin the Site-to-Site -Site VPN wizard by navigating back to the Networking tab and going to the Overview page. Scroll down and select Start VPN Wizard. The Site-to-Site -Site VPN wizard works through five steps, with the first step being basic information. Select the compartment where the VCN resides that you wish to modify. Select the target, Virtual Cloud Network. Select an existing dynamic routing gateway or create a new one. Select an existing internet gateway or create a new one. Then select Next. The wizard's second step requires that we select subnets and security lists. The demo VCN has an existing security list that we will, we will use here. Next, we select subnets using the pop-up window. And then selecting them again from the pull-down. Then select next. On the next screen, the VPN wizard requests information from on-premises networks to set up the IPsec connection between the virtual cloud network and the on-premises network. For this demo, we will select static routing, but BGP and policy-based routing options are available depending on your on-premises network configuration. Click Next when done. Next, the VPN wizard sets up a router or virtual representation of your customer premise equipment. Return to your checklist for CPE IP addresses, CPE vendor, and model. On the final wizard setup page, the VPN wizard solution with all of your selections is presented for review. When you are ready to run the VPN wizard, select Create VPN Solution. The wizard will begin updating the VCN and adding network services. 
Now that the wizard has run, let's review the new VCN resources in the web console. The subnets, CIDR blocks, routing tables, and security lists are present and have been modified. We can also see that an internet gateway and dynamic routing gateway were created and attached. Let's review our VCN diagram with site-to-site -site VPN for a comparison. From the VCN overview page, we can see the dynamic routing gateway and internet gateway, but what about the IPsec tunnel or site-to-site -site VPN and our customer premises equipment, or CPE? To find these resources and the needed information to give to your network engineer, we navigate to the networking, and then customer connectivity. On this page, we can find details on site-to-site -site VPN with IPsec tunnel information and customer premise equipment information. The next step is for the network engineer to configure the CPE devices and test the connection between the virtual cloud network that we just created and on-premises network. Here are some additional resources for specific customer premise equipment vendors. For the official list of supported CPEs on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, check out this page. For more information on networking in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, check out this Quick Start Networking documentation.